planning a vacation to Hawaii, wondering which credit card would be the best for your trip? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the world of credit cards and travel, specifically focusing on your dream destination, Hawaii. We'll be considering crucial factors, such as the benefits they offer, the rewards you can earn, and the fees you may encounter. So buckle up, and let's get started. By the end of this video, you'll know which credit card will make your Hawaiian vacation even better. First, let's understand what credit card benefits mean in the context of traveling. When we talk about credit card benefits in relation to travel, we're referring to those extra perks that can enhance your overall travel experience. Let's delve into some of the most common benefits that can make your trip, say, to a tropical paradise like Hawaii, even more delightful. First up, travel insurance. Many credit cards offer various types of travel insurances like trip cancellation or interruption insurance, baggage insurance, and even travel accident insurance. These insurances can provide peace of mind while you're sipping a Mai Tai on a Hawaiian beach, knowing that if any unexpected events occur, you're covered. Next, we have airport lounge access. This is a benefit that can make your travel experience more comfortable and enjoyable, especially if you have a long layover or delay. With this perk, you can relax in a quiet, comfortable space, enjoy complimentary food and beverages, and even catch up on work if you need to. Then there's the benefit of no foreign transaction fees. If your vacation takes you outside your home country, this can be a significant advantage. Credit cards that offer this benefit won't charge you any extra fees for purchases made in a foreign currency. So, whether you're buying a souvenir in Honolulu or enjoying a seafood feast in Maui, you won't have to worry about those pesky additional charges. Other benefits may include rental car insurance, lost luggage reimbursement, and even credits for travel-related expenses such as airline fees or hotel stays. These benefits can add considerable value to your travel experience, saving you money and providing additional convenience and security. It's also worth noting that different credit cards offer different combinations of these benefits, and the value of these benefits can vary considerably. So it's essential to understand precisely what each card offers before making a decision. Knowing these benefits will guide us in choosing the right credit card for your vacation. So stay tuned as we move on to discuss credit card rewards in the next segment. Besides benefits, credit card rewards are another crucial factor. Now let's delve into this intriguing world. Imagine this. You are buying your groceries, paying your bills, or even just grabbing a cup of coffee, and each time you do, you earn something back. That's the magic of credit card rewards. So, what exactly are these rewards? In essence, they are incentives provided by credit card companies to encourage you to use their card more often. These incentives come in various forms, such as points, miles, or cashback. Let's start with points. Each time you use your card, you accumulate points based on the amount you spend. These points can then be exchanged for a wide array of goods and services. Thinking about that new gadget? Well, you might just be able to get it with your points. Next up are miles. If you're a frequent flyer or an aspiring globetrotter, this is where things get exciting. Miles are rewards that you can use towards travel. This could mean discounted or even free airfare. So the next time you're planning a trip to your dream destination, remember to check your miles. And then we have cash back. This is pretty straightforward. A percentage of the amount you spend is returned to you. It's like having a mini discount every time you make a purchase. You can use this extra cash for anything you like. Maybe a treat for yourself or even to pay off part of your credit card bill. Now how do you redeem these rewards? Most credit card companies have user-friendly online platforms where you can easily view and redeem your rewards. Remember though that each company has its own set of rules for redemption. Some may require a minimum number of points or miles before you can redeem them, while others might have an expiry date for their rewards. So, there you have it a crash course in credit card rewards. The key takeaway here is to use your card wisely. The more you use your card, the more rewards you can earn. Remember, these rewards are essentially free money, so make sure you're not leaving any on the table. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, credit card fees. When choosing a credit card, especially for travel, it's crucial to consider the fees. Yes, those pesky little charges that might not seem like much at first glance, but can accumulate and put a dent in your travel budget. First up, we have the annual fee. This is a yearly fee that some credit card companies charge for the privilege of using their credit card. They can range from $25 to as high as $400 or more. This fee is usually associated with cards that offer significant rewards or benefits. Next, we have foreign transaction fees. These are fees incurred when you make a purchase that passes through a foreign bank or is in a currency other than the US dollar. They typically range from one to 3% of the purchase amount. If you're planning to travel abroad or make purchases in a different currency, 
a card without foreign transaction fees can be a lifesaver. Cash advance fees are another factor to consider. These are fees charged when you use your credit card to take out cash. They can be a flat fee or a percentage of the cash advance amount. Lastly, don't forget about late payment and over the limit fees. These can be quite hefty and can quickly accumulate if you're not careful with your spending and payment habits. These fees can make a significant difference in your overall travel budget. So always make sure to consider them when choosing a credit card for your travel adventures. Armed with this knowledge, let's compare some popular credit cards for travelers. First up, we have the Global Wanderer card. Known for its generous rewards program, it grants triple points on all travel-related expenses. Imagine stepping off the plane in Honolulu, filling up your rental car, and knowing every dollar spent is racking up thrice the normal points. The downside? Its annual fee. At $200, it's a bit steep. But if you're a frequent flyer, the rewards could outweigh the cost. Next, let's talk about the Traveler's Delight card. This card offers a broad spectrum of benefits, from complimentary travel insurance to free access to airport lounges worldwide. Imagine sipping a Mai Tai in a luxurious lounge before exploring the vibrant streets of Waikiki. However, its rewards program isn't as lucrative as the Global Wanderers. You earn just one point per dollar on travel, but the variety of benefits might make up for it. Then there's the Budget Adventurer card, perfect for the thrifty traveler. It has no annual fee and offers double points on dining and entertainment. Think about those beachside dinners in Maui, the luau shows, all earning you double points. The catch? It lacks some of the travel-specific benefits like travel insurance or free lounge access. Lastly, we have the Luxury Voyager card. As the name suggests, it's all about luxury with high-end travel benefits like room upgrades and late checkouts at five-star hotels. Imagine staying at a deluxe suite overlooking Waikiki Beach. However, it comes with a hefty annual fee of $500, which might be a deal breaker for some. As you can see, each card has its unique perks and drawbacks. Your choice should hinge on your travel habits, budget, and preferences. A card that's perfect for a luxury-seeking traveler may not suit a budget-conscious adventurer, so consider your options carefully before making your decision. So, how do you make the final decision? Well, let's dive in. Picking the best credit card for vacationing in Hawaii isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. It comes down to aligning the card with your personal needs and travel plans. Are you a frequent flyer or a once-in-a-blue-moon vacationer? Do you value luxury benefits or are you more of a budget-conscious traveler? Answering these questions will help you narrow down your choices. Consider your spending habits. If you often dine out, a card with high rewards on dining could be a good fit. If you're more of a homebody but plan to splurge on this trip, a card with a great introductory offer might be the way to go. Next, think about your travel preferences. If you're loyal to a specific airline or hotel chain, a co-branded card could offer valuable perks. However, if you prefer flexibility, a general travel rewards card might suit you better. Don't forget to factor in the card's fees, like annual charges and foreign transaction fees, against its benefits. It's also crucial to understand the card's rewards redemption process. Some cards might offer high rewards, but if they're difficult to redeem, they might not be worth it. Lastly, always remember to read the fine print and understand what you're signing up for. The best credit card isn't necessarily the one with the most rewards or lowest fees, it's the one that matches your needs and spending habits. Remember, the best credit card for your Hawaiian vacation is the one that matches your needs and spending habits. So there you have it, a guide to choosing the best credit card for your trip to Hawaii. Remember, understanding the benefits, rewards, and fees associated with each card is key. We also compared popular credit cards to help you make an informed decision. But ultimately, the choice is yours. Pick the one that aligns with your needs and travel goals. Have a great trip and make every swipe of your credit card count.